Hey everyone, how's it going today? Welcome back to another Third Stimulus Check Unemployment Benefits Extension Update. Hopefully everyone had a relatively great weekend or a great last couple of days depending on when you are watching this because in today's update I want to take a revisit once again to the Unemployment Benefits Extension program that was approved in the Third Stimulus Package because the really really great news is is that there are now officially a lot of people that are now starting to roll over to their new program but with that being said there are actually still a couple people that are waiting. Um, I do also want to clarify a couple of details when it comes to how the actual rollover process works because some people were kind of told about how it was supposed to be a smooth rollover but then they're still kind of waiting. I do want to also touch up a little bit about the tax credit. So basically if you happen to be someone that's either still waiting for your unemployment um, for reasons or you happen to be basically someone who has already filed your taxes and you're simply waiting for that tax cut or tax return, um, I want to touch up a little bit about that. And I actually also want to end this maybe with sharing a little bit of like just a fun story that kind of came up about this weekend. This is really just for fun. Um, you guys can stay around if you guys are interested at that at the very, very end. Just something that I, I promise you it's an interesting story. But regardless is that definitely to watch through for the information if you guys are interested. So we're going to get started right away. But before we begin, as always, make sure you smash the like button in light of the fact we finally have an approval. Um, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for other future updates and similar videos like this and also other finance topics. And also feel free to comment any questions or thoughts about honestly just anything at all. But also maybe comment down your state and whether or not you've received any information about whether your unemployment program will roll over smoothly and then maybe also whether or not you've actually physically received your unemployment like the extension confirmed and deposited inside of your bank account this last recent week now that the approval has officially gone through for one whole week now so with that being said we're just gonna get started right on the spot so when it comes to the unemployment program, as most of you guys probably already know by now is, is that for a lot of people, it is indeed going to be a very smooth rollover where you guys do not have to reapply. Again, keep in mind, this is for most people. So there will still be some people that may have to reapply. Hence kind of why I'm asking every single person to kind of comment down if you guys have any info about that. I do have another video that I'll put at the end. I think most of you guys probably already saw it, but just in case, it's really just about whether or not you should or should not have to reapply for your unemployment program. But I think the big thing to really clarify is, is that even if you guys got an email to get notified that it's going to be a smooth rollover, which is the really, really great news, congrats on that. Um, I think it is really important to notice and to really clarify that even though it's going to be a smooth rollover process to the new unemployment program, it does not necessarily mean that it's going to be immediately. It can be, and it very much has been for a lot of people, but not necessarily every single person. And I think that's something important to clarify because if the unemployment department sends you an email that says that it's going to be a smooth rollover, which is the really, really nice thing, um, what they really mean by that is, is that it's going to be a smooth rollover in the sense that you don't have to do anything to get onto the program. However, I think it's important to clarify is, is that it does not necessarily mean that it's going to be picked up immediately. In other words, it's going to be smooth, but not necessarily immediate. I think that's the big thing to notify. So it may end up being something where they eventually put you on the program, but you may have to end up going through just some kind of indefinite wait. I think most states are hoping to maybe just do it in within like a week. However, it would not be a shock if it ended up taking a little bit longer. Very, very similar actually to the rollover between the first stimulus packages unemployment program into the second unemployment program. The general idea is, is that there will still be some states that that will go through some kind of delay. It'll be smooth, so at least you guys don't have to like stress out about doing all sorts of different forms or applications. Um, however, there may be like a slight pause when it comes to getting onto it. So I think it's really important to clarify. So I think the most important thing is, is just to make sure you have everything on top, make sure you check out your emails. But beyond that is, is just to know that there may be a wait. I think that's an important thing to really just know about it. 
But now, when it comes to the tax cut for maybe anyone that basically maybe has already filed their taxes, um, we did kind of mention this briefly. However, remember how we kind of mentioned how if you're waiting for the tax refund or tax credit that comes from the unemployment program, um, the great news is, is that as we mentioned from before is that for most people to really just sit still and wait for them to send out information, the great news is that now we have officially confirmed from the IRS now that supposedly the tax credit for anyone that has already filed taxes is is pretty much now going to be automatic we kind of speculated that it was probably going to be that way in the last video but then like they just weren't positive for sure the great news is that with the assumption nothing changes going forward um is that the irs has confirmed is that they're hoping to do it as an automatic procedure so once again is that you do not have to file an amendment in fact don't file an amendment because if you file an amendment you might actually end up confusing the system so that's probably the really really big thing to know about now i do want to say also one thing though is is that when it comes to a lot of the other tax programs um, I do notice is that certain programs that are not necessarily supposed to happen now but necessarily later so an example one that comes to mind is really about the ch child tax credit I did make another video like last week and also put it at the end screen if you guys want details about that um, but the news about that right now is is that they're still kind of now contemplating on changing the actual delivery the program of course has already been officially approved so if you do have a kid you will as the previous video mentioned which I'll put put at the very very end screen get three thousand to three thousand six hundred dollars per child however they may be modifying the timing of it now to when you actually can physically get it and possibly even the increments so whether they send it monthly or every two months it's still kind of up in the air but it is something now that they're really contemplating on maybe potentially changing so I figured I'd kind of just throw it out there the great news is is that it's still like about three months until June slash July. Um, so we still do have you know, a lot of time, and especially now that the tax, um, the deadline has now been extended from one month, but I figured it's just something really important to share with every single person here. But that's pretty much what I wanted to kind of explore and explain and hopefully clarify for anyone that's still waiting for either the tax credit for the unemployment or the actual physical unemployment. Now, I do want to end this by maybe sharing a really funny, interesting story. It's related to the stimulus checks um, that really came up over the weekend, but some of you guys know is, is that being in New York, I actually don't have a car but interestingly enough I'm actually a biker so over the weekend I had a very funny interesting story but basically I went on a bike ride and then actually came by a rally um, it was one of those like several thousands of people rally and the long story short is it was really just about social justice but when I came back that came by that rally one of the speakers was actually Andrew Yang who if you don't know him he's basically the person that ran for president and he's about to run for the New York City mayor um, but an even funnier story is that I actually realized and came by that there was someone that's a familiar face that every one of us recognizes and that that was actually also at the rally he was there very very briefly I did not manage to get a picture of him because I was too far away when he was there I did get a picture of Andrew Yang but the funny thing is is that I actually went to a rally and interestingly at that rally was Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, the guy who basically helped in the approval of the third stimulus package. I was not able to kind of go up to him, but I found it a really hilarious story that like, we've been talking about stimulus checks this entire time. I joked about some people, I think in a few, like a video a couple while ago, how if I could talk to these politicians, I would probably try to preach. This is before the approval happened about just trying to get them to rush up and hurry about how many people really need the stimulus package. And to a very small world, I actually did now end up semi running into Chuck Schumer. I wasn't close to him, um, but he was at the rally and he was speaking very briefly at the rally. Um, I wanted to actually go close to him and maybe just thank him for approving the third stimulus package. But also interestingly to maybe just preach out a potential fourth stimulus package, which is maybe something maybe far into the future. But now the fact that, you know, if you have the chance to actually physically talk with the Senate Majority Leader face to face, I think the general idea really is just a funny story that came up. 
to really just show how it's a really, really small world out there. And I think when it comes to the world of politics, you never know who you're going to run into. But I think the big thing is, is that just as people in general, every single person, and I guess it really shows the importance of why it's so important to vote and really get active, because every single person in some way either has or can potentially have a reasonably pretty reasonably significant voice in terms of a lot of things that are going to be happening when it comes to stimulus policies government anything in that world but kind of just a really funny story i just felt really like sharing i don't know if you guys had something you guys kind of would have wanted to ask senate majority leader chuck schumer if you came by uh but that's pretty much the story i wanted to share so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well hope to see every single person next time and yeah hope to see everyone next time thank you guys so much again